Our next guest is known for making people laugh, and that's just what he plans to do this weekend at the DC Comedy Loft. He joins us this morning to talk about his show and more. We welcome Felonius Monk. Thank you so much for, for being me. here with us. Yeah, thank you for having me. It's uh, good to be back. It's, it's been a while. We were talking. The last time you were here was at the old studio. Yeah, it was the old studio. It was probably a couple of weeks before uh, COVID hit. I apologize to all of DC if it was my fault. <laughs> it was Sorry about that. Not his fault. I so not. we love having you in town. What can we expect from your shows this weekend? Because this is a great activity if you want to bring in 2024 with some, you know, levity and some enjoyment. Yeah, I think um, for people who don't want to do the, you know, the traditional, I'm going to go out and watch something drop or have a bunch of drinks. If you want something a little more low key and you want to bring in the new year with laughter instead of stressed out, you know, uh, come out to the DC Comedy Loft. I'm going to be telling a lot of stories, um, some family jokes. As my family gets older and we grow together, I have more jokes about them. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, it'll be a good time. And if it's not a good time, you can't get your money back. So whatever. I don't know what to tell you. It's going to be a good time. Here's the deal. Comedy has been evolving. Yes. And there's a lot of comedy on TikTok, mm. on Instagram reels. What's your thought of the state of comedy and where would you like it to go in 2024? I, I think uh, a lot of the older comics are frustrated because it all seems to be content, content, mm. content. And the way we came up was you tell your jokes in the club, but if people want to see your jokes, they have to come to the club. Because cutting it live is way different than making a curated it moment, is. right? It is. And I, and I think that's uh, put our pen game. We have to write differently now. We have to write understanding that the joke is going to play outside of the 150, 200 people that are hearing it. Right. And that means you have to have a little more sensibility about who, who's listening. Well, I don't want to offend this group. Write the joke smart, write the joke well, write the joke funny. And if and you do all those it, things, right? you'll be fine. Right. And, and I hate that uh, you can't say anything. You can say whatever you want. You just have to accept whatever consequences come from it. So if you're going to be offended, come anyway. We'll talk about it. We'll work it out as a unit. See, I love that. Now, coming up for you, mm -hmm. getting into comedy, getting your feet wet, mm -hmm. who are the comedians that you really looked up to? So they're, they're, they come in tiers. Like the, the God tier to me is, you know, George Carlin, Richard Pryor. Mm -hmm. These were guys who could talk about anything. Dick Gregory, who could talk about anything. Serious issues make, make you, you laugh. laugh. Right. Yeah. Uh, but then, you know, there are guys like Bernie Max and Cat Williams and, and, you know, these guys who were just their power, their, their presence was enough. Their voice was fun funny. If Cat Williams walked on stage and said, hello, everybody, <laughs> everyone's going to laugh. He doesn't have to tell a joke. Just being there. And then so now there's so many of these younger comics who are just really smart and really good writers. They're guys that you guys might not have heard of, uh, Corey Bell, Skylar Higley. These are young up-and-coming comics. Look them up. They write good jokes. They have good stage presence. They're smart, and they're interesting. And those are the people that I like. And that's why people come see you, because you're smart so. and you're interesting. And I know every city has a different flavor in the audience. Mm. What do you like about DC's audience? Do you like DC's audience? I adore, uh, which, which camera's mine? I want to make sure that they know this that one. I'm telling the truth. Okay. I love DC's audiences. I've been coming to DC since 2016. I did shows at the Woolly Mammoth with Second City. These are the smartest audiences in the country. There are no jokes that I'm afraid that I have to give more background for. Mm. You guys get it. If you're in DC, please come out. It's also the most Ethiopian city in the entire country. It's actually the most Ethiopian city in the entire world outside of Ethiopia. So all my Abisha people, please come out and see me. We're going to have a good time. You know you don't want to drink and stay out too late anyway. Mm -hmm. Come see me. Let's have a good time. <laughs> all right. Well, speaking of being in DC, mm -hmm. are there any restaurants, any spaces you like to hit when you're here? Uh, Cheddar Cheddar on 9th is a great uh, Ethiopian restaurant. I love that. And then, of course, all of the, you know, the Ben's Chili Bowl. Any, any of the, the, staples. The, the, the staples I like. But my favorite Ethiopian is Cheddar Cheddar on uh, Ninth. And also, Abisha Market on Ninth and you, I think. I, love, I like those two. But anything in D.C. is good. D.C. is a really good food town. It really is a good food town. That's why it's so fun to do this mm -hmm. show. And as we wind down last Friday of 2023, we're mm -hmm. going into 2024. You've already accomplished so much in acting and comedy. Mm -hmm. What do you see for yourself in 2024? What are your goals to accomplish? Uh, more acting. I actually caught the bug. Uh, the last time I was here it was because I was promoting the show For Life and doing something at the D.C. Comedy Club. For Life was like my first dramatic acting opportunity, and since then I've done a bunch of other movies and TV shows, and I've caught the bug. I enjoy it. It's a different way of storytelling. I'm Flexing a storytelling muscle, comic. Yeah. It's a different muscle, yeah. So uh, hopefully a lot more acting, a lot more stand-up, um, and I'm going to try to do content on TikTok for the young people. There you go. And try oh, and figure good. it out. No, you got this. Thank you, Felonius Monk, Thank for joining for us. Me. And as we uh, wrap this up, where can everyone get tickets? Where can people get in contact with you? Uh, go to dccomedyloft.com, D-C-C-O-M-E-D-Y-L-O-F-T.com. I'm the first picture up there. Click on it, buy a ticket. I got two shows tonight, two shows tomorrow, one show on New Year's Eve. We're going to bring in the New Year's Eve with a toast and some laughs. 
Uh, you can find me at felonious underscore M-U-N-K on all of the social media. And find that new content. And find that new content, I guess. I'm going to be doing the little dances or whatever. Uh -huh. I don't know how to... <laughs> how to do those dances. But when I figure them out, y'all can see me dancing on TikTok. Nah, we love seeing you live in person. Is that yes, the... Is that the, I, I can, the you don't want to see me do a TikTok dance, I promise I don't know you how that. To do it. Listen, it was a pleasure <laughs> chatting with you.